Hi, I'm The Rap Critic, and let's get this out of the way now. Kanye has been lately producing music that critics have had a hard time giving praise to amidst his baffling ignorance and, analyzing and thoughts, deconstructing which have these awkward messages afterwards. afterwards. He's decided to, to use passive euphemism and validate the actual ideas. issues people Others have had. Others want to ignore the controversy and stick strictly to the musicians. It's looking at it as objectively as possible. Directly and about an artist, sort of critique their work inherently involves incorporating that controversy in some way. And I, what is that? What was that punchline? Uh, okay, we'll, we'll see what that is when it gets here. But anyways, what I'm trying to say is, if I can just be blunt about this, I think some people just straight up still like his music. And they hate that they can't just like it now without doing so being considered a political act that may not align with their thinking, or may align with their thinking, but in ways that they've never been confronted about before. And if that person is you, and so far you've begrudgingly remained a fan because the music was good, then I've got some great news. His latest song is... really bad. You're such a fucking hoe. I love it. That's right, folks. Wonder no more about whether you're being overly critical of him because of his public persona, or underly critical of him because you're a fan and want to buck back against what you feel is unfair treatment. Nope, in this case, this is... This is just bad. I'm a sick fuck, I like a quick fuck. I'm a sick fuck, I like a quick fuck. I'm a sick fuck, I like a quick fuck. There's absolutely nothing to defend here. There's no clever lyrics, no infectious hook, just Kanye doing the lowest common denominator type sex jam with a fly by night rapper, open and shut case. The video isn't even that interesting. Yeah, they do the Roblox suits, but that's pretty much it. The only thing this video is about is two guys in overly big suits following a giant woman around begging for sex like starving cats. It literally goes nowhere else. The thumbnail for the video is basically all you needed to see. Like, that's it? That's all you were gonna take this visually? I feel like I'm watching one third of an interesting Spike Jones video. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Are those actual women in the background? At first I thought they were just statues, but no, they're moving. Those are actual naked chicks chilling in the walls like living room art, bound in submissive positions in pink nylon. I'll... I'll get back to that in a second. Concerning the song, though, the only thing that I really like about it is the sample to Del Givens part. I mean, it's just cool in general to see a queen of comedy show up in a rap song and in the video, but also what she's saying kind of prepared me for what I thought was going to be a more interesting song. You know, all day they couldn't say the shit they wanted to say. They had the fake orgasms and shit. We can tell niggas today, hey, I want to come, motherfucker. See, this starts off with a good premise. Framing sex as something that not only women want, but something that they also want to feel good while doing. And this isn't a sentiment showing up on a woman's song like a TLC track, it's showing up on a song by two men. And Sampling Adele here plainly illustrates the frustration lots of women have historically been dealing with in their relationships, having sex with guys who don't care about making sure they get off too. And here's Adele proudly stating, no, we're not going to keep pretending that we don't care about having our emotions neglected. And while that works on its own as a strong declarative statement, it's then followed by You're such a fucking hoe, I love it And uh, kinda, kinda throws away the credit I was trying to give it Fuck that bitch up out in London Then I fucked up on the cousin Or her sister, I don't know nothing Like, th the sample brings up an issue of women having their sexual desires repressed Meanwhile, Lil Pump gets so little of a shit about the women in his life He can't remember which relative of the girl he's fucking that he fucked That made sense, right? The total shifts are confusing is what I'm trying to say And the line's okay for what it is, uh, just a joke on how he gets so much ass he can't be bothered to remember who's who, but I'd be more willing to give it more points if he hadn't already done the same basic joke on his biggest song from last year. I fuck a bitch, I forgot a name. Yeah. Which was oddly followed by a completely left field reference to her being a coke addict. My bitch love do cocaine, ooh. Which strangely shows up here too. And smoke, perp, sip, and drink, ooh. And each time there's no real importance to it, it's just brought up with no joke or interesting take on it. It's just treated like this vaguely notable absurdity that just goes nowhere. And my well, it's it's almost like wordplay. Because you see, ignorant almost sounds like ignite, but you know still doesn't. And even then, th that's even worse, because ultimately you just rhymed ignorant with ignorant. You're such a fucking hoe. I love it. Your boyfriend is a Make love it. Oh, hey, speaking of which, is that punchline we saw coming a mile away. Glad you could join us. You're such a fucking hoe. When the first time they ask you, you want sparkling or still? Are you trying to act like you was drinking sparkling water before you came out here? Okay, see, this line is supposed to be mocking women who come from a lower class. And maybe don't know much about customs in other parts of the country or the world. And, hey, maybe she didn't know what sparkling water was and pretended like she did in order to not look ignorant. But... I don't know, that doesn't seem like the worst thing in the world to call someone out for. I'm sure a lot of people just don't know about sparkling water, but probably have to hide the fact when they find out because bougie people like you make fun of them for not knowing everything you do. And maybe I'm being a little too analytical here, 
but I'm the fucking rap critic, it's what you're here for. But I've noticed something when it comes to a lot of these sex songs. There seems to be less of an emphasis on pleasing women as much as just having them. When it comes to bragging about chicks, the subject matter typically comes down to I have more girls than you. Or this girl gives off some blowjobs. I like my dick suck, I buy you a sick truck, I buy you some new tits, I get you that nip tuck. But hey, looking at these lyrics, maybe the song is about more than just Kanye West being led by his dick. It's also exposing how this causes him to make costly decisions like paying for women's cars and plastic surgery just because they have sex with you and how you start a family that kind of slipped up i uh hmm i guess this is like almost commentary in a way although this is kind of an awkward sentiment for someone with kids to be saying out loud like this but i mean it's your song kanye you decided to put these lyrics in there so i just feel like you confessing some shit you don't need to be confessing in public, bro. But maybe that's what this video and song are supposed to be about. This is an unfiltered look into the rich, sex-obsessed men whose cash flow allows them access to a limitless supply of beautiful women who'll sleep with them for a price. And as he treats them like objects, it explains the real women being used as decoration in the background. These women are just trophies, things to collect and be proud of for having. But at the same time, he's following this woman around, who's much bigger than him. A, a brash, confrontational woman that he's constantly begging for sex. I like that whole shit. I wanna hear more shit. I like the whole shit. And it's interesting in this case that the woman he's following around is an older, confrontational black woman. And wait, doesn't that change a Donda on it? And isn't that Kanye's mother's name? And if this video is about his relationship with women, wouldn't this video also kind of be exploring the- Whoa, 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 let's stop that line of thinking right there. I am not well versed enough in psychology to go down that rabbit hole. But concerning his relationships with women as sexual conquests, ironically, this video's visual representation is oddly emasculating. He's not a dominating presence, he's a toy. A small plaything being used for his cash by beautiful women, sinking millions into keeping them pretty and financing their decadent lifestyles in exchange for sex. I like my dick suck, I buy you a sick truck, I buy you some new tits, I get you that nip tuck. And and I'm now learning that this video was revealed at the first annual Pornhub Awards last month. Well, it's, it sounds appropriate enough, I guess. And this isn't a condemnation of pornography. I mean, it's strictly in terms of how these guys view women. They have no real interest in them outside of sex and seem to have a contentious relationship with women at best, marked by moments like this. Send me some more shit, you tripin hoe, bitch. Bitch, bitch, You're bitch. such a fucking hoe. Yeah, what was that interaction about? I mean, like anyone else, I'm assuming that if it's a sex song, sure, you're gonna say derogatory words to the person you're having sex with, so it's not like calling her a bitch or a hoe is in and of itself a marker that he hates her, but it's the specific intensity with which he says it here, followed by her angry reaction and his sheepish shirt collar tugging look he gives afterwards. And I'd never mind it, but a similar moment happens in the middle of the video. You're such a fucking hoe. I love it. It's almost like he got caught showing some deeper contempt through his words, but instead of owning up to it or confronting it, there's a weird sidestep he does where he just kind of goes back into bobbing along to the music as if he just wants to let time distance himself away from that awkward moment. Now, I talked to a close friend about this video, and he actually had a theory. See, maybe the meat-headedness of Kanye and Lil Pump's verses are more related to Adele's sample than I might have thought. Uh, maybe the women in the walls are the women he's been able to have sex with, women who are willing to do what they want because of their fortune and fame. But the reason this woman is so huge and Kanye and Pump are so enthralled with her is because she's willing to put her foot down and not settle for dudes who can't please her. Kanye and Pump, being the kind of dudes who can just get any women using their money, have never dealt with a woman that doesn't care about money and favors actual fulfillment. I wanna come, motherfucker! On a physical level, at the very least. So to them, she's some unattainable monolith of sexuality, and the only way they can think to describe a woman being discerning about her sexual needs is by calling her a hoe, which makes for an interesting idea for the video. But unfortunately, as far as the song itself is concerned, instead of really doing anything with that, it just becomes an unexplored topic on an overall underbaked concept. Nah, I give it a 1 out of 5. Like I said, the Adele sample is inspired, but other than that, it basically sounds like the Rack City beat with honestly worse raps. Uh, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'd rather listen to a Tiger song than this one. Got your grandma on my dick. Yeah, okay, alright, never mind. I was being hyperbolic. But the point is, this is definitely one of the worst songs Kanye has ever made. Any engaging subject matter introduced by the sample gets squandered for the rest of the video in service of being just another brainless, dick-wagging, frat boy sex anthem that you'd have to take to an ironic extreme to be able to even enjoy it, at least for me, anyways. It just feels empty, rushed, and careless. And no, I don't love it. And just as Kanye shuffled away from being confronted in this video, so am I gonna shuffle the fuck away from this unfinished mess of a song. Well, I'm the rap critic. You don't have to like my opinion, but I 
do not have to like your song. Hey, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell if you like my stuff. You know the whole self-promotion thing we have to do to keep the show running. Check out my Redbubble if you want to get Rap Critic merch. Go to my Patreon to see episodes early, make requests, and join in on my Discord streams, which will be a special treat for patrons when I start doing live streams on Twitch. So check out all that fun stuff, and I'll catch you later.